Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a really exciting video and accompanying blog post and I've teamed up with The Pit Box who you may remember from another video and I've done a blog post review on them before and they are basically a cruelty free beauty box, like a subscription box. I absolutely love this box. I've had it a few times before. So with this box, everything inside is obviously like a beauty product. It can be makeup, toiletries, cosmetics, anything like that. 99% um, of it is always vegan friendly as well. I think they do actually have a vegan box option now. So if you do want completely vegan as well, you just have to let them know. So I'm gonna dive inside and show you what's in this box. Now, the exciting thing about this video and blog post is that you guys have got a chance to win this box. This very box and all the contents inside it, and it's super easy to enter. I'll link the blog post below. All you need to do is go on the blog post and fill in the little box at the bottom, which requires you to do some following and some retweeting and stuff like that. And yeah, and then you're basically put into the raffle and then the clever little raffle copter thing randomly picks out a winner. And this competition is gonna be open for a week. So you have a little bit of time to get on board and yeah, good luck everyone. So let's see what's inside the box. So the first product in the box is this the Hangover Coffee Scrub by a brand called Optiat. I think that's how you say it, Optiat? Optiat? I'm not sure. And this is a potent peppermint coffee scrub. I've seen a lot of people before on like Instagram and stuff doing coffee scrubs like, and it always looks really fun. Oh wow. Oh, I was expecting it to smell like coffee, but no, it does actually smell like peppermint. That really reminds me of um, like the original sauce mint sauce shower gel. Mmm, that's really nice. It looks kind of brown. I'm not sure if you can see. You probably can't. It's a bit coming out the top there. Oh, that looks good. It looks like it's got lots of grain inside it. This is a nature-friendly beauty company who use coffee grounds into scented scrubs that make you look and feel amazing. Revives your skin and perks up your mood. So all you have to do with this is scrub into damp skin in circles, leave for five minutes, rinse well, and revive yourself for the day ahead. So I'm guessing you can use this like all over your body. I was thinking maybe it's like a facial scrub, but it doesn't just kind of say for face only. So I think this is something that you can use all over. And scrubbing is definitely something that I get on board with this time of year because I've got a couple of summer holidays coming up, one in, May and one in June, I think. Um, so one thing I like to do in the lead up to summer holidays is scrub, maybe just like once a week. I'm not very good in keeping up like body care, um, but maybe like once a week, I'll do a really good scrub in the shower and moisturize and just so that my skin is feeling really good for when I go on holiday and it always enables me to get a better tan if I scrub off some of the dead skin before I go on holiday. So. That's what I'll be using this for. Next up, we have got, I think I've had this before, Green Frog Botanic Soap Berry Body Wash. And this is a really handy 100 ml size. I tend to save these for like when I go on little trips away and stuff, um, because they're so easy to take in your hand luggage. Um, this is Rose and Neroli fragrance, enriched with organic aloe vera. Um, I have got one of these in my bathroom at the moment actually, but I don't think it's this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is so nice. Um, no, I don't think it's this flavour that I've got. I think it's a different one. But yeah, Green Frog Botanics body washes are super nice. I'd really recommend checking them out if you haven't done already. And they're completely, they have the little vegan stamp of approval on as well, which is great. Maybe I'll use this to wash off my body scrub. <laughs> okay, next up we have this super cute little pot. And this is by a brand called Balm Balm, and it's a 100% organic natural face mask in hibiscus. So I am really into face masks at the moment. Um, my skin has been problematic now for quite a while. Um, I tend to get a lot of breakouts, especially like around my period, which I think is quite common. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, this year especially, I'm trying to be more um, proactive, let's say, with doing some face masks. Um, maybe like once or twice a week if I'm having a bath or something or if I'm just looking for a bit of pampering or I wanna chill out and relax, I've been using face masks and I'm really into actually sheet facial masks at the moment. This one looks like it's gonna be like a sort of cream one. 
Oh no! Pour contents into a small bowl, add a little water and mix to paste. Oh, I like this. I like a bit of DIY. Apply to face, leave for 10 minutes or until dry before removing mask. Damp a little, oh no, before removing mask, damp a little and gently massage into the skin with circular movements to exfoliate and then wash off completely. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is an amazing, incredible smell. I'm not sure if you can see, I'm trying to focus the camera for you all, but it is like a very sort of powdery, consistency I'm scared to tip it in case it comes out oh wow it's super soft as well I'm really looking forward to that so how much do you use oh you pour the whole contents into a small bowl exciting I'm gonna do this this week I'm gonna really look forward to that it smells gorgeous absolutely lovely next up we've got a little handbag essential this is by a brand called Botanical Lucky Cloud Skincare, and this is a vanilla lip butter. Love the little tin. And they are right, this is the perfect little size to put in your handbag. Oh, let's see if I can get into it. Oh dear. Oh, you slide it. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that smells incredible. It smells like vanilla ice cream. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy using that. But this is just one of those products that I know is just going to go in my handbag and it's going to get used and yeah it also looks like it's, it will last quite a long time as well because it's kind of like a solid consistency in the tin. I really like that. And then last up we have a makeup product and I am very excited about this because I love trying new mascaras out. Um, I'm always on the hunt for a really good mascara. At the moment I'm using Gosh's Bombastic, which I really like. Um, I did try their Rebel Eyes, that was okay, but I prefer Bombastic, so I'd recommend checking that out if you're looking for a good vegan cruelty-free mascara. But mascara's a bit like hair care for me. I always like trying new ones and discovering new brands and just, yeah, mixing it up quite a lot. I don't tend to ever stick to like one mascara forever. So this is by Medusa's Makeup and this is called Witch Lash. The camera just wants to focus on my face at the moment, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it to focus on this, but the package is gorgeous. This feels like such a high quality product. Um, let's have a look to see what the brush is like. Ooh, that actually looks like my kind of brush. It's quite thin, but also really bristly. I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm really looking forward to trying this out, actually. So that's everything in this box. You've got one, two, three, four, oops, five lovely items. And yeah, they're all things as well that I'm 100% gonna use. Sometimes, I don't know, sometimes there's like one or two products that you might think, hmm, I'm not sure, but then you will end up using it at some point. But with all of these, I know that I'm 100% gonna use these. ASAP. I can't wait to do that face mask as well. So if you're interested in signing up to one of these boxes yourself, they're $14.99 a month plus I think it's about £3.35 postage and packaging as well. Um, you're not tied into anything. It's a bit like the Vegan Kind box in that you can unsubscribe at any point. Um, so yeah, you can try it out for a month and then see how you feel or then unsubscribe or sign back up again. It's totally flexible, which I think is really important with these boxes as well. You're not tied into anything really scary. And I'll leave all their links below as well so that you can go and check them out. Yeah, and good luck with the competition. I hope all you guys enter and yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to announcing the winner. That will be um, probably a week today after this video goes out. So keep an eye on my social media. I'll be announcing the winner over there. Um, I'll, I'll announce it on Twitter, Instagram stories and Instagram probably. Um, so make sure that you get involved with that and I shall look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Bye.